Yo, what's up guys? Rob Schubert here with 3Storm Fitness. Usually I can see my camera, but I wanted to... I can't see... I can't use it as a monitor now, so hopefully I'm looking at you. And hopefully you can see me. Um, this is like a... Let me just show you... Let me show you the exercise with the equipment I'm talking about first. This is kind of like a version 2 video. It's a cable belt squat. I've already kind of made this video. But let me just show you, just so everybody's on the same page. In case you don't want to watch that video or you haven't seen it yet. I'll explain why I'm doing this a second time in a moment. So here's the exercise, right? Alright. Belt squats. With a cable. Trying to get something, get, get after something like, you know, the more commercial equipment that you see. So, the reason I'm making this video is because a bunch of people responded relatively positively to, this a double adverb there, to um, the first one. And, but they had a bunch of questions. I, I glossed over a lot of the details. So people have a bunch of questions about how I did what and what I used. And that's what this video is going to be. Now, I'm going to tell you guys. <clears throat> I've uh, I've taken a little bit. I haven't been putting out the videos at the same frequency that I that I normally do. Just I've been super busy lately. Who hasn't? But all I have to say, I've also suffered a little bit with my belt squat project. Um, this thing needs still needs a lot of work. But I'll show you what I got so far. I guess we'll consider this like an open source type uh, type thing. Show you what I got so far, and if you're at home and you think you can do a better job, which you probably can, go for it. Let me know what you, what you come up with. I'll let you know some of the problems that I'm having right now, and maybe you can uh, make them better. Fix my, fix my problems. Make my life better, please. All right, so first off, um, some folks ask me, what am I using for, what am I using for cables? Well, <clears throat> For cables, I'm using um, these guys here. Now, I apologize for anybody I'm causing motion sickness. I, I made my own cables. I, um, this requires, like, at least the only way I can think to do it, custom length. Because you got to have down from the bottom, uh, one continuous cable running down from the bottom. I'll explain this mess here in a second. Up to the top, okay, and then back down to a loading pin. So that's got to all be one piece. Now, power rack to power rack, there's no real standard for that as far as I'm aware. You could probably come close to it. A lot of power racks share the same dimensions, but, you know, <clears throat> every little piece that's involved in this has, <clears throat> can adjust, can adjust the cable length required. And that cable length required, you know, even an inch can, can throw it off pretty significantly. And that's where I'm really running into problems. Um, I'll get more, more than that in a second. So, we got these down here. These are basically, so this is a uh, 3 16th cable with vinyl coating. I've been, <laughs> I, I'm much better at making these now, but this is an earlier version. I've got, got my thimbles a little loose. It still works though. 3 16th is vinyl coating, quarter inch total diameter. This is what Spud has now. Um, they, by the way, a little off topic here, but they say quarter inch cable. I'm not calling them out on like false marketing or anything, but technically, it's not quarter inch steel, it's quarter inch with a vinyl coat, it's, th it's 3 16 with a vinyl coating that makes a quarter inch total. This is true quarter inch cable here, and that's what this is made of. So it's quarter inch cable, and the total diameter I don't recall, but basically what I did was I took a swage tool, and I, you know, I, in this case, soldered off the end, um, soldered the end so I could run it through easier. I'm just getting a little bit better at making these things. Anyways, so that's what I'm dealing with. So the folks who asked about what kind of cable did I use, I bought it off of eRigging.com. I just bought a huge spool of it, just because I have tons of projects in mind. I want to actually start selling some, some stuff. But anyways, I keep talking about that. But anyways, that's why I bought like 200 feet of it. <clears throat> you could buy smaller. You can go to a hardware store and do the same thing. Um, swaging tool, that might be a little trickier, but surely somebody you know has one. Okay. What else we got? So we got power. Now in the first video, I was using concrete blocks, center blocks, uh, the big ones, the ones that are I think 18 inches tall, or maybe a foot tall. 
can't remember exactly. It doesn't particularly matter because those are what you're going to use to get a little more custom height. Now these obviously are not cinder blocks. These are Black Widow squat belt, belt squat platforms. I've made like three different videos on these suckers. I love these things. I've, I'm using these right now just because they're a lot easier to switch on the fly. Now if you're using concrete blocks, I think I mentioned this in the other video, you could easily, if you have bumper plates, you could take bumper plates, stack those on top of the blocks, and then when you have it to the height you want, just about an inch and a quarter shy, you take like a traditional sized uh, Olympic plate, put that flat end up, and then you have platforms. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch another video. If, like I said, if you have bumper, a variety of different bumper plate, plate thicknesses, you can, you can do a lot with that. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So that's what we're talking about for squat platforms. If you have these guys, fantastic, you're in business. If not, you got to get a little creative. Concrete blocks are super cheap. We're talking like a buck fifty a piece. And if you already have the plates, you can, you can make a squat platform of any kind you want. Now this right here, let me know if you need clarification there. So, I think this has probably caused the most problems, this setup down here, what I got here. What, what I have here, rather. It's what I got. So, I got, I have, jeez, I have a power rack safety pin, or uh, safety pipe here that goes in the bottom. Now, I got, a, obviously, a hole in the very bottom. This pipe runs, for those who are not familiar with this, this pipe runs all the way through the, the bottom, Okay. And then you could loop whatever you want to it. This is just like a motorcycle tie-down strap. You could use like those spud endless loops. Those are great. You could use this thing. You don't, it's heavy duty nylon. You don't, you're not gonna break it. You don't have to worry about it. So basically what I did was I took, <clears throat> this sucker comes, as you can see, and like you got one loop at the end here, one loop at the end here. I ran it underneath here, took a carabiner, connected it into here, okay? That carabiner is hooked to a swivel here. Now, as you can see, this is this was made before I discovered the wonders of soldering. You got that cable fray at the end. I didn't know how to measure and everything, so that's what you're dealing with. Don't don't make yours look like that. Mine are better now. I'm just using the old one. You guys know see what I'm talking about here? I just cut myself. Cool. All right. So, <clears throat> anyways, that's connected to a swivel block here. Now, stupid mistake number two or seven or whatever we're on right now is the swivel block that I chose is a quarter inch it's made for quarter inch cable now this is quarter inch cable but again it's covered in vinyl so it's technically more than that so while this does technically work like it will function you get this extra drag it's not real noticeable until you start getting heavy weight then it gets noticeable real quick you get real you know if i put another 45 or, or two on there i'm i'm in trouble like it's it snags and like you get this extra friction so for version number two, build number two rather, for me, I'm getting to get the right size swivel block. Whatever that is, it's right up, it's the next one up from a quarter inch cable. Again, erigging.com, I don't work for them or anything, but that's where I got pretty much all this crap. Um, bleeding? No, no, no one needs to kiss it for me. Can if you want, I guess. All right, so that cable runs through here. This, by the way, uh, mistake number 97, uh, the first, set I got, I bought the fix swivel. So the fix pin doesn't have a pin in other words. So you can't take this thing out and run cable through it. Once you build it and run it through it's, and, and terminate the ends, you're done. Unless you want to cut the cable. So if you're building this at home, I highly recommend getting one with the removable pin. Um, save yourself. That way you have a couple different versions to play with. Um, and you could also interchange this with other size cables if you need to, or use it for whatever. Um, this top, um, the little eye there, eye hook, that just comes with you. That's built, that's built in here. And this, by the way, for those who are curious, is a, uh, this is the same brand that Spud uses. is Block Division Incorporated, Wichita Falls, Texas. This is an 800 pound rating just for the swivel block itself. The cables themselves have... Honestly, I think the thing with the highest rating is probably the motorcycle tie down. It's like 12,000 pounds. But, I mean, if you're doing any more than, um, if you're doing any more than, uh, you know, 800 pounds, you already have a solution somewhere. You're not watching this. Um, I'm using a Spud Ink belt squat. I love this thing. Talked a billion times about this. It just runs through a carabiner to this other end here. 
Okay, so hopefully you guys are with me so far on this part of it. Again, this is all variable height. It's going to vary uh, quite a bit depending on a number of things. The length of your cable. That's all. It's just all going to be custom. My cable link is not ideal. I will admit that. I don't know if you noticed that, but when I got to the bottom, when I was doing that rep, it hit the hit the bottom of the floor. Um, full. That was like if I'm going like rock bottom squats. Uh, full range of motion. It gets in the way a little bit. So what I have to do is raise this a little bit. But when I raise this a little bit, it gets pretty difficult. It gets incrementally harder to get up on the platforms when I'm using some serious weight. You know, if I have like over 200 pounds on here, I'm basically doing a 200 pound step up to get into place. So getting the right cable and, um, like I said, every piece of this goes into play with the overall measurement you need. So that is the part that I'm still really trying to figure out. The ideal way to do that. What would be great, now I'm brainstorming here, is like something with, I've talked about this before, I can't remember if I did it on camera or not, but something with like a variable, a variable adjustment, like a strap that's going to stay, I know they make things like lashings that, you know, well, you can, you can adjust all you want, like think like a backpack strap. Problem with that is those aren't built to hold, at least not that I know of, you know, 600 pounds or 400 pounds or whatever it is you're squatting. Um, so... You know, you could do a little bit with these. I also have the hammock straps, which I got here. And originally I got these so that, with that in mind, so you know, because you have these loops all the way down to the bottom in two, inch, in two inches. And it's a cool idea, but two problems. One, the loops don't start till you get all the way down here. Now you could kind of run it back on itself and do it that way. But then even if that, even if that you still have like, you know, you still have you still have to do increments in this much from line to line. If that makes any sense. Hopefully you guys are still with me. <laughs> um, somebody out there, some like super geek is sitting there nodding like, yes, yes, I'm with you so far. I have answers to all of this. Don't worry, Rob, I'm coming. We're going to figure this out for you, bud. All right, again, here's the drag. You can see what I'm talking about. I didn't get the right size swivel block. It still functions, but it's just, it's right up against that thing. And eventually it's going to grind the vinyl away. It's just, you know, it's what you get when you make your own stuff. You screw up a lot, or at least if you're me. Um, okay, so this is basically set up the exact same way that this is set up. The only difference is I got a fixed pull-up bar here to work with. So I have to screw with getting this down underneath. Now, I will say if you don't have a safety pipe system, if you have, like, say, straps and you can't really do this, what you could do is take a barbell... Okay, just a regular barbell. I'm not going to do it, but follow me here. I've done this in other videos before, I'm pretty sure. Take that barbell. Okay, get the one end here. Run it up underneath the rack. Feed it through all the way to that side. And then push it so that it's flush up against this post here. Okay, now you have, you know, when you lift it up, it's going to catch underneath here and it's not going to go anywhere. So now you have basically just created that bar from a barbell. That should make sense. And it'll stay under there. I do it all the time. Um, what else? So, okay. So then this goes, again, this is all one continuous unit. You can't really do this with the spot, at least not on my power rack, because it's, it's two of them and the sizes, they don't, I try to do it with a million. I made the very first, the, the review I did for the spot, the Kano pulley, I took these platforms I basically made this, but I had to put the platforms like pretty much all the way up here. So then I was like, basically my head was like up at the ceiling doing belt squats. It was stupid and dangerous, but pretty cool. Um, anyways, this, this has been a, this has been something, uh, this has been a making in, in progress or pro, I don't know. I can't talk. All right. So this goes all the way down here. Same deal. Same sloppy work here. Pre, um, blowtorch and, um, Plumbing solder. Um, this goes down and connects to a loading pin. This here is a spud loading pin. It came with my Econo pulley system. You could easily use something like this, though, if you don't want to buy that loading pin or you don't have one. Any loading pin will work, obviously. But this is just, I took another one of these motorcycle tie down straps, about like a six pack for, uh, this is another video I made, six pack for like eight bucks or something. Um, 
ran this through a two and a half pound plate. That acts as like something you could stack the plates on on top of that. Works pretty darn well. Uh, whatever it is you do though, unless you know of a better way, I highly recommend factoring in the measurements of everything you have. So if you're like, well, for a loading pin, I got the spud one, but I think I'll use the, you know, the tie down straps. Before you cut the cable, you got to know which one you're going to use because it's, again, it's all connected. It's probably very obvious to you if you've done anything, any kind of work like this before. For me though, this is all fresh. I'm like coming off of a keyboard. That's where I get my hands nerdy, if you will. Get your hands nerdy.com. I think I actually still own that domain somewhere out there. Anyways, um, so I'm not very handy. I've been spending a lot of time in the basement sucking in soldering fumes and I'm sure that's why I can't think of anything to say right now. I'm killing myself. Uh, but yeah, if you're more handy than me, which I'm sure you are, give me some ideas and whenever I get the time freed up, I'll, I'll, I'll try them. I'll be happy to give you credit for them. Um, if you've done already done this and you are, maybe you've already made a video about it, send me that. I'll, uh, I'd love to, love to see it. All right, guys. Um, hopefully that makes sense for those who had questions. Sorry, this is like a 20 minute video, but it takes me a long time to really get to all the details. I want to make sure I showed all the details. So, uh, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't and have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot, guys.